Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Ages of Alchemy. I'm Dee Graywell, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel. And this is going to be the weekly general read for fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius for the week of 825 to 831. I am recording this on Sunday, 825. So what aspects have we had at play this weekend? Well, we've had the Mars and Venus conjunction. Um, so relationships really are front and center. This is about relationships with ourselves as well as relationship with others, especially romantic partnerships and relationships where Venus and Mars conjunction is concerned. Um, and uh, we do have a new moon in the sign of Virgo. If you're going to focus on manifesting, manifest things that are connected to that Virgo energy. Some of you might be inclined to change your health routine, um, dietary changes, uh, focusing on exercising and things of that nature when Virgo is at play here. Um, but definitely it's interesting because I don't focus my readings on specifically just romantic partnerships and relationships. And I have to say, after doing the general earth, air, water, and now your sign, um, relationships are front and center. And, you know, specifically romantic partnerships and relationships are being highlighted here, as well as the relationship that we have with ourselves, which ultimately um, really has an effect on the relationships around us. There's a feeling of needing to release things, um, a feeling thickness and heaviness. Uh, even though we're, we're moving into a new moon, it's about creating the new, we're still closing something out. Um, and what I've noticed the theme within, within the signs is that there's this resistance to change or disappointments um, that are coming up, that are kind of putting you in this place of feeling stuck and kind of that stagnant energy. Uh, but before I move on to the reading, uh, real quick, you can find me on Facebook at D. Graywell, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, as well as on Instagram at The Angels of Alchemy. You can visit my website at healingwithheaven.com. All of that is in the description box below. Also, to let you know that I do accept donations for this channel, that's also in the information box below um, by PayPal. And that's really to keep this channel up and going. Um, so if you wish to, you know, feel free uh, to send donations for the channel as well. Um, and like I said, that's really just to keep it going. Also to let you know that uh, I will be in New York City, City Saturday, September 28th. Um, to do a demonstration of mediumship. Uh, that's for our passed over loved ones and pets. Um, if you wish to know about that, you can email me. That's in the description box below. You can also find the information for that on my Facebook page as well as on my Instagram page. And again, that's in the descri description box below. Those of you who are subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the, on the actual videos, guys, for those of you who are subscribed. And for those of you who are new, new welcome. Um, and uh, if the messages resonate, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Would love to help ha to have you. And uh, thank you so, so much for supporting me. So let's go ahead and jump into this reading. So again, as I was saying to you, there's a theme of what it is that you need to release, what's coming to a close, connected to your past. That's, you know, yeah, the south node here, with this is karma, okay? This is relieve, releasing some kind of karmic cycle, something that you're ending. So you're being asked, what is it that you need to release that you're resisting releasing? Because it's holding you back. you have here the waiting game okay um this is you waiting for like your success your abundance your prosperity to come in um waiting for some kind of answers some type of truth and clarity to come in um this has to do with stability and foundation you're almost like in this place of waiting and i feel like some of you it's like you know sometimes you need to to embrace changes and and take that leap and not be kind of in this stagnant waiting it's almost like um be the first one to make a move you have obstacles and challenges so definitely some of you are really being blocked by your own fears and worries um needing to speak some kind of truth some of you having trouble in communication uh but 
feeling like uh, some of you are feeling left out in the cold here, but there's major changes that are unfolding for you. And this is in regards to your foundation, your stability. Some of you, some of you, this is within a relationship, and for others of you, this is all around career, relationship, home. Okay, but the, and it's, it's almost feels like there's just obstacles and challenges surrounding that. Very much feeling like I'm in my thoughts here, needing to ground some of that energy. So you have changes, you have finding a balance, and then you have stability that's being highlighted. And you're in this place of, of you know, spiritual awakening. This is awareness, having um, a perception, seeing things from an um, alternative perspective, uh, rising above, having spiritual awareness, right? Spiritual awakening and enlightenment. Something that you need to see from a different perspective. You're starting to have an awareness but still feeling some kind of resistance, I'm feeling. So the waiting game, this is you. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for your abundance. You, you know, are waiting for your dreams, goals, and desires. But it's like, you need to be in a place of appreciation for what's already in your life. So you're waiting for the success almost to come in. But there's a need for you to appreciate what is unfolding already in your life. It's about you, you know, you've had this kind of stress, worry, and fear about your finances. You're waiting for this money to come in. I'm getting a sense, you know, um, feeling very unstable at the moment. And yet you have the card of perseverance. So you're being guided to persevere, have the strength, have faith, believe in the power of miracles, know that things are moving exactly as they need to. Rise above the obstacles and challenges. And you will persevere. You'll get through this challenging time. You're going to get through these obstacles and channels, cha challenges, sorry, um, because you're in a place of renewal. This is a rebirth that's happening. It's almost like what you thought was your solid foundation isn't. And there's a need to see things from a completely different perspective. So there's this grand rebirth and awakening that's happening right now. You're in this place of renewal. And what you believed in is being questioned. It's like you don't, you're seeing things or needing to see things from a different perspective. And you're being guided to believe in the power of miracles. Whatever's unfolding for you right now, there's a blessing and a miracle that's coming into your life. So if things have felt challenging, know that there's, you know, that energy is going to break. There's something new coming in here. You have here the sun card. Here it is. Overabundance, right? Enlightenment, blessings, abundance, success, prosperity. Make this down to a completion with completion because this is full, the, the, the fulfillment at its fullest, right? Joy, happiness. Your success is here. You have the seven of swords energy over perseverance and obstacles and challenges. I feel like you've had some issues with others or you've had issues amongst partnerships and relationships where there's not been honesty, there's been lies and deceit. Um, not being honest with yourself about what it is, what you need, but also others not being honest with you. Um, you have this person kind of sneaking off in the night with the swords. Okay. But so somebody who's, you know, there's been some kind of lies and deceit, I'm feeling, but you're overcoming this. You're coming out of this seven of swords energy where it's been deception. And perhaps this was you being, you know, Deception with yourself. It's like taking off that mask. Needing to find some kind of balance. You've been like juggling. Um, some of you, this could be a situation where there was more than one person involved. Could be dealing with third party scenarios. 
but the, it's almost like needing to find a balance, needing to ground that energy, some kind of choice that you're needing to make as well. So this is what this renewal has been about. It's been about finding balance within yourself. After going through some kind of um, time of, of, you know, lies, deceit, dishonesty. For some of you, I'm feeling it was um, people around you uh, career-wise, okay? Some kind of deceitful energy there. So, but here it is. Highlighting awareness miracle you have the ace of pentacles this is a brand new beginning that is one of abundant success prosperity stability with finances all around though new beginning all around right it's going to be a successful new beginning Highlighting um, the Sun card, you have. Oh, wait a minute. Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles highlighting the Sun card. Right? This is you having your. Uh, so for some of you, this is about your career for sure. Okay? Finding stability within the home. All right, the stress that you've had about your finances. Uh, so some of you who are leaving relationships, and especially if you were in some kind of marriage or commitment, I feel that that's coming up where there's been some kind of lies, dishonesty, possible, um, you know, third party scenarios. And for those of you that have been leaving a marriage or commitment, there's definitely been um, worry about your finances. But I feel like you're going to come out of that, not to stress, not to worry about that. Highlighting the Seven of Swords, you have the Hanged Man. It's almost like you're needing to take a time out to see things from a different perspective. This is a period of standstill, pause, reflection, while you go within yourself to gain some kind of clarity and insight. Hi, you've got the Seven of Swords twice here, guys. You can't make this up. Yeah, the Seven of Swords twice here. So definitely, which is, you know, highlighting your... This is the Judgment card, okay? The Renewal card is the Judgment card. And then you have the Two of Pentacles, finding a balance. So some finding a balance within your relationships. Um, definitely, but there's been some kind of dishonesty. This is also about you getting truthful with yourself. What are you hiding behind? And also about being truthful with others. There's these secrets almost that I'm feeling that haven't been revealed. People not being honest with each other. Definite need for communication. But here it is, Seven of Swords cards. You can't make this up. Ace of Pentacles is being, you got two Two of Pentacles cards as well. It's crazy. So, Highlighting Ace of Pentacles and the Miracle is a Two of Pentacles. Again, finding balance within yourself, finding balance within your relationships. There's this feeling of juggling. I, get, I just get the sense and feeling, for those of you who are dealing with relationships, there's definitely been lies and dishonesty. Not being, there's not been honest communication, um, juggling more than one partner, third party scenarios here I'm definitely feeling, but needing to walk away from that which is not of truth and move towards a new beginning. It's time for you to make a decision that's, that's grounded, needing to ground that energy. Highlighting 10 of Pentacles. Again, you have another card of balance. You've got three Two of Pentacles cards here. I think this might even be the Temperance. This is, again, finding balance, okay? Needing to uh, balance your finances. Watch how you're spending your money. Are you spending your money wisely? Finding balance within the home, within the work, within the social. Definitely feeling that. 
divine timings at work here as well, guys. So highlighting, um, what is this under here? We have obstacles and challenges, you rising above, right? Persevering. You have the seven of swords, you have the hangman, and then you have a stranger man. I almost get the sense and feeling that some of you've um, been estranged from someone. There's been a lack of communication, either on their part or your part, um, but definitely feeling separation. And this is about this going within is also about you not um, being estranged from your own emotions and feelings, not being honest with yourself and needing to get honest about what it is that you're feeling. So highlighting Seven of Swords card is deception. Wow, guys, this is kind of heavy, you know. A lot of dishonesty here. It's like you're not being truthful with yourself. There's some kind of judgment that's coming up. The needing to be truthful within your relationships. And I'm almost feeling like on both parties' parts. This isn't just one person. This is on both parties. Highlighting Seven of Swords. Deception. That's crazy. Um, but underneath Miracle, Ace of Pentacles and Two Pentacles, you have Wisdom. It's time for you to tap into your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. Um, the answers that you're seeking are within you. This is about you getting real with yourself, okay? Needing to take a time out to meditate, to go within, to find your answers, because they're there. So the messages of guidance that we have for you, let's move on. Magic or prayer. Um, this is breaking down to a five. So you have two fives here. Definitely big changes happening. Um, you have a nine, ten there. So that's a completion. You have stability, okay, number four. But this is, a, you're being guided to focus on prayers and meditation right now. Take a time out, have faith, believe in the magic of prayer. Believe in the power of prayer. Trust and have faith. Everything's unfolding as it needs to right now. Let go and surrender and give it to your guides. Don't get into that place of anxiety and worry. You're going through this metamorphosis. This is a spiritual transformation. You're coming out of this time where you've been in the dark. And, you know, it's the caterpillar that's transformed into that beautiful butterfly. This is a complete metamorphosis in your life. In, in the way you see things, the way you are with yourself and with others. Um, you know, rising above, reaching new heights. And this is a seven, having the Midas touch. And then you have Bone Collector. This is about leaving the toxicity, the things that haven't been working of your past. You're holding on to the skeletons of, of the past, of the things that just aren't serving you and the needing to, you know, to lay those burns down. This is the one so that you can have a new beginning. Are you just, you know, what do you need to release? Are you holding on to the skeletons of the past that aren't serving you? Those hurts, those disappointments? There's a willing, I, I feel like you need to forgive. Definitely feeling that this week. Needing to forgive yourself, needing to forgive others. Laying down those burdens. You know. Feeling quite alone, I'm almost feeling, but that's not the truth. It's like, what are your belief systems from the past that are keeping you in this energy? It's like you're holding on to things that just aren't serving you. You have two ones, two new, it's, that's all about beginnings, right? Here's another one, you can't make this up, beginnings, but you have a seven, eight. So this is, um, I'm sorry, this was the first card, right? You have personal transformation. Everything that you're going through right now has been about your personal transformation, your journey. Five, six, seven, eight, so that's an eight right there having greater awareness, higher knowing, connecting to the divine self within you. You've been going through major changes in your life, focusing on yourself. It's been a, play, a time of healing for you, rejuvenating, renewal, rebirth. A 
and you've been like this is the part this is new beginnings on the horizon there's brand new beginnings here let go of your past don't allow your path to hold you uh, past to hold you back don't let karmic situations of the past past hold you back what is it that you need to release so that this new beginning your dreams your desires your goals can come in because right now the only person blocking you is you and ultimately another eight so you're seven eight um trusting your own inner knowing your own inner guidance it's like you coming into a place within yourself that you now have learned to trust your own intuition the guidance that you're receiving know that you're being fully supported learn to go within to seek answers and stop seeking answers outside of yourself you know the truth everything you need is within you come into balance with yourself learning the truth of who you are your purpose why you've come self-love self-acceptance knowing your worth a lot of changes here for all the signs definitely endings and new beginnings this has been kind of like this ongoing cycle it seems right but know that you're not alone that there's others with you on this path on, on this journey really i feel like now more than ever people need to trust and have faith and not doubt and don't don't quit before the miracle unfolds for you have the strength the willpower and determination to move forward know that you're being supported by the divine and i'm with you on your path supporting you as well so i'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead i'll be back um, next week to do your readings and possibly a midweek check-in wishing you many many blessings namaste